Do you dread manual reporting or perhaps even skip it entirely? Stay tuned to learn how to get it done in minutes and get the data you need to strategize effectively. Coming up in this action-packed tutorial, weekly reports. Change the small things that don't work before they become the big things. And monthly reports. Get a solid overview of your business performance in just a few clicks. For those of you who are new to this channel and the series, hi, I'm Nate and I run Savio Agency. In our last video, we did a quick run through of Clavio account tab. Now let's take a closer look inside of the dashboard section as it's your one-stop shop for crunching key email marketing numbers. We're gonna uncover its features and show you how it can help you make smart decisions to elevate your email marketing game. Now, without any further ado, let me access our test Clavio account that we've created for this course. To start, let's go to our dashboards tab. It's located inside of the analytics tab. If it's your first time creating a report, click on create report you should find a pre-built dashboard, such as the overview dashboard already created for you. But before we start crunching some metrics and numbers, let's first understand our dashboard. At the top of the dashboard, you'll find your selected conversion metric and time period, which includes the comparison period. Let's start by choosing any account-wide conversion metric. Choose the conversion metrics that suits your current needs. Let's look at a few examples. We typically use the place order metric to check on revenue attribution for email flows and campaigns, or active on site to check on site traffic attributed to our emails, and the clicked email metric to check on the effectiveness of our emails. But you have many more conversion metrics that fall under two categories. A revenue-based conversion metric in your dashboard, such as placed order, started checkout, fulfilled order, etc. And for those, you'll see a monetary value displayed in your cards and all other conversion metrics such as active on site, clicked email, opened email, etc. And those will show you the total number of applicable conversions. By default, your dashboard will show your performance metrics over the last 30 days. Want to change the date range? Simple. You can adjust the date range to show. You also have the option to choose whether you want to compare your performance in your date range to the previous year or to the previous period. Click on the drop down next to the comparison and choose your option. So say as an example, if the date range is the last 30 days, if you were to choose the previous year option, your data will compare to the same 30 days in the previous year. But if you choose the previous period, your data will compare to the same prior date range, or in this case, 30 days prior to our chosen date range, basically last month. To create our own card, click Add Card and choose the option to create from scratch. Choose your metric from the drop-down menu, for example, Checkout Started, then choose how you'd like to get this metric displayed. Note that counts represent the total number of a metric, for example, total number of opens, including duplicate opens by the same subscriber, while unique counts are the unique number of these metrics. For example, number of opens per unique subscriber. You also have the option to group your data by choosing an option from the group by dropdown. You can add up to five additional filters to narrow down your data, for example, item or product type, and choose if you'd like to get your data displayed as a table, line graph, bar graph, or as a single number. Once you finish setting up your card, click add card. You can also add new cards, adjust the order of the cards, and delete them. And anytime you'd like to get the most up-to-date numbers, you can refresh the dashboard. A few notes before we jump in to making your first report. Number one, all the users in your Clavio account will see the same dashboards. The last updated timestamp represents the last time that a team member updated the board. And note that only 10 dashboards per account can be created. Report date ranges will appear as the following. A date range of 30 days or under will display bars by day in the chart. A date range of more than 30 days will display by week and a date range of over 90 days will display by month. Now let's jump in to make some reports. First, your weekly report. Go to the time period and choose seven day range and the comparison period to previous period. Select your conversion metric to be placed order. Now let's make sure we have the right cards. What we'd like to check on is Number one, overall revenue for both flows and campaigns revenue. The conversion summary card should help us with that. Number two, the campaign's performance card. 
This includes the overall open, click, and place order rate for your account. Number three, campaign performance detail card, which allows you to check on the best performing campaigns. Number four, the flow performance card. Similar to the campaigns performance card we just went over, but for your flows. Number five, flow performance detail card, which allows you to check on the best performing flows in your account. Number six, performance highlight, which will show you the overall best performing metrics and worst performing metrics from your account. Email deliverability by domain to make sure you have a solid deliverability across all email providers. And the cool thing is that you can keep adding and creating cards to give you those special insights you need to keep growing. Now, let's go over your monthly report. We're gonna repeat all the steps from weekly report, but just change the time frame to 30 days. You're also going to want to check another cool feature already hiding inside of your Klaviyo account called list engagement. This Klaviyo generated report is gonna give you more insights as to your signed up subscribers behavior. Here, you're gonna see more insights as to your signed up subscribers behavior. We can also check on our flow coupon code quantities with each monthly report, results for every A-B test, and ensure that the Klaviyo plan fits the amount of engaged subscribers more on that soon. That's reporting from our analytics tab, all done. Custom reports, on the other hand, allow you to dive deeper into your metrics and see data that makes sense for your business. You can create custom reports for specific metrics using this feature right here. Let's say you wanna see how many abandoned carts were saved by your abandoned cart flow. You wanna to go to custom reports, create from scratch, select single metric deep dive report, give your report a descriptive name, select place order as your metric, select total sum for revenue or total unique profiles for amount of customers, add group by, select your abandoned cart flow, hit the time frame you wanna see and select the way you want it to display. Voila, you've just created your very first custom report and you can take a deep dive following this approach on any metric you'd like. Let's be sure to keep it clean with clear and concise naming for each report created. Trust us, this simple method saves us a ton of time. There you have it. A few bonus tips to help you get real-time data on just about anything happening inside of your Klaviyo account. Do a quick check-in on these every seven days, a deep dive every 30 days to see which strategies worked and which didn't. And you're well on your way for email marketing success. If you want to learn about Klaviyo automation, aka flows, and how to start earning money on autopilot, check out this video or check out the link in the description box down below.